this is probably the biggest reason why you want to invest in the Comica Boom Axio. Let's roll the intro. What's up everybody, it's John here. Welcome to another episode of Afterwork Gear Review. And I'm standing pretty far away from the camera. How far? Not quite sure. Slightly less than one patch of paddy fields, I reckon. And that's possible because I am actually wearing the Comica Boom XU, a UHF antenna-based microphone. Let's go back to the studio and break it down together, shall we? And I'm back in my studio. Now I've got the Comica Boom XU set over here in this carrying case. I want to share with you about this mic because I think this is a wonderful package altogether. The Comica Boom XU is a UHF based uh, microphone system you've seen in my intro video where I'm standing like so freaking far away to get a video and I was micing up with, together with this and how this works is that you have two transmitter which is the two wireless mics over here that transmit to this receiver over here that plugs into the camera and I think this system is pretty impressive because there are so many ways to actually use this mic let's quickly go into the menu so this is the uh, Boom X2 receiver to turn it on just press this one and the TFT screen will light out and say it's Comica you straight away you see that's channel A and channel B and they have LEDs over here to indicate if it is pairing or paired with the transmitter I have with me this I believe is the channel B microphone and when I turn it on it stop blinking and that's level that's going in now to use the menu is pretty straightforward and simple and what it is is that you click inside and you can select either you want group a or group b which i want to be um, pairing say channel b now it's already paired right now but if you need to say redo a pairing uh, i can do a auto scan there is an IR blaster over here and also a receiver over here and what it does is that when you select auto scan click on yes it will start pairing it and you can see we have um, B which is paired right now and you still got level onto the mic over here the rest of the menu is fairly straightforward you just bring it down you can control the volume the low cut filter uh, whether or not you want to disable this particular mic um, setting the microphone system to mono or stereo green flip reset no and here's the Comica Boom Axios transmitter you have literally just two buttons to take care of we have on and off over here once it turns on it turns blue and then it connects and this will indicate if there is any audio going in test test all right and you there's a silent over here when you just hold on to it red indicates um, that i have muted the mic it has a microphone jack and this is to secure the uh, lavalier that's plugged in into the microphone jack over here and the Comica Boom X2 is basically set it, forget it unless you need a cleaner channel that you need to set and pair okay. again now the Comica Boom X2 is a fairly simple mic to use you kind of like set it and you forget it I remember the first time that I powered this mic on I was just fiddling it and managed to get a grasp of how the interface is what comes in the back is pretty impressive they have all sorts of cables to prepare whatever situation you need to use the mic in we have definitely the TRS cable this one goes to our camera or any camcorders is written here even there you go for camera and camcorders you have the TRRS cable uh, the way you can tell it is that there's three stripes over here which goes into smartphones they even come with an XLR input uh, this goes into audio mixer or audio interface that you probably have um, it has two lavalier mics now they come with two lavalier also comes with a wind muff now what you've been hearing until up to this point is from my Rode Wireless Go and I've always post-process my audio through Final Cut so I add on some compressor, some limiter and stuff like that and you can hear how the final product of the video just like that let's swap it up into the Comica Boom XU check one, two, one, two, three now you're hearing from the Comica Boom XU it's gonna be heavy just like the Rode Wireless Go but this is how I sound like with the mic clip on to my shirt right here and you can use it just like that I'm just gonna power up the other mic now I've got two mics right now I'm setting it to mono you shouldn't be hearing much difference between these two mics but if I were to just speak over here 
and then again speak over here they should both sound about the same as long as i'm not far away from the mic i look kind of odd in it uh, as long as i'm not far away from the mic you will get like relatively really good audio just like that now the controls are all at the receiver i'm going to be switching uh, this mic into stereo mode and i'm back now i've set the mic to stereo mode and of course you don't hear any much difference when i'm holding the mic this way but if i were to move my left channel away from my speaking mouth over here you should be able to hear it pretty drastically different and if i were to swap this away you probably be hearing this mic instead of that mic over there right so this one can be of an application of like say if you want to make sound travel from your left ear to your right ear you could actually set the mic to go stereo so this is how the comica boom actually sounds like without processing and let's start processing the audio so i'm just gonna leave it on the table right now you, you should be hearing it, me quite all right and um since i told you guys that this mic comes with a lavalier let's try the lavalier and see how it sounds like i kind of like that the lavalier has like you know a additional clip over here to secure the microphone now once i got the lavalier set in this is where the microphone is gonna be the pack can sit behind me and then i could uh, mic myself that way and speak and walk around to do an after walk series okay i've got it balanced over here so that was the lavalier mic um, now the lavalier mic is an omnidirectional mic and there are many ways of actually using this without say using the microphone that's provided by them i've got with me the Deity D3 Pro and this is basically a shotgun mount uh, microphone. Now the Deity D3 Pro is a shotgun microphone and therefore it has a different polar pattern say from the omnidirectional lavalier mic and also this mic over here and what the shotgun microphone does is that well, the microphone is more sensitive when it's pointed directly at me and if i were to move the microphone to the side we go one two four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve one two five six seven eight nine ten eleven 12 13 14 15 you get a picture so it has a different use for microphones like this in the field and essentially when i plug the microphone to the transmitter of the Comica Boom XU, it becomes a wireless shotgun mic that I can bring around to use for a different kind of application. The Comica Boom XU is a UHF based wireless microphone system, while the Rode Wireless Go that I have is a 2.4 GHz Wi Fi wireless system. Now, the guys at Comica also has the smaller brother of this one that utilizes the 2.4 GHz uh, spectrum, which is the uh, Boom XD, if I recall. Now, there are pros and cons using the UHF versus the 2.4 GHz uh, spectrum. Uh, for one, the most obvious one, the UHF has a greater distance, while the Seven, wireless 2.4 GHz one ten, has a shorter 12, distance. 13, uh, for two, 15, Comica 16, Boom XU can use channel yeah, in their system. One thing nice is that it selects channel automatically uh, hopefully it's the cleanest channel so that the distance can be amplified now i've used this kind of mics in a agm environment where i've got multiple of these microphones that's in a small room and they are set to different channels and when i was using them it doesn't interfere with each other and i came across a scenario where i'm using three to four wireless go in a small room and the audio clashes and it wasn't working and it was a mess so using the uhf and having to select different channels for each microphone setup, I think that is definitely a plus point over that. What it is, the build quality of the Comica Boom XU doesn't inspire a lot of confidence. It is a little bit plastic and the antenna over here, as steady as it is, I, I'm still a little bit nervous. And the clips on these guys are a little bit fragile. But if you do take care of these microphones, I guess you get you definitely get a lot of usage out of it. And there are definitely other hacks like even for my road wireless go, I stick on a magnet onto the clips so that I can attach it underneath my clothing. I do notice though when I'm using the wireless go with the Deity D3 Pro, what it is is that when I have the transmitter put close to the microphone itself it has interference it has a weird noise that goes into the mic which you don't want and whenever i use it i make it a 
point to really use the length of this cable to separate between the wireless go and the DT3, uh, D3 microphone. I don't have the same problem with these ones. You know, I like the uh, physicality of the microphone because, um, because of the size I could be holding this and be talking like this into the mic handheld. I can pass this one to another peer and they can be and speaking into it. I like the fact that the Comica Boom XU has two uh, transmitters while the Rode wireless microphone has only one transmitter and one receiver. Now, I don't need a lot of distance that the Comica Boom XU provides me but a lot of time when I'm out there shooting YouTube videos, I'm shooting alone and knowing that the mic actually works at a distance that I'm usually shooting gives me the peace of mind shooting the video. Well, that's the review of the Comica Boom XU. I hope you learned something today and if you did, please click on the like button and if you are new to the channel, do click on subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next video video.